My name is Shellyanne Watkiss Reed, and um, I am a college trained teacher, acting principal of Effortville Basic School. I have been having summer schools from the 5th of July. Um, this is a volunteer service. So Mrs. Watkins Farbs from Spanish Town Primary School. She had also been here assisting us with this work. The parents and myself, we are grateful. We decided to give back our service in this community. We have grown up in this community and we have seen the need. Um, there are some children who have not been engaged online during the pandemic and so we have seen it fit you know to give our service back. The parents are grateful, the children are grateful and we have fun every day. I have two children in class and none of two haven't been online class until Mrs. Reed is giving back to the community and it is great I see my son catching up. My daughter it would have been the first time she's doing September? Yes, because of the pandemic and it is a great job she's doing. I commend her. So we have classes from Monday to Wednesday. Um, we have an hour and a half, sometimes two, sometimes we go all the way to one and a half hours, all depending on what we have been doing for the day. So we have age group from 6 to 15 years old. So we have grade 2, we have grade 4, grade 5 and we have children who are not of the primary school level that are here and they're having fun. We take our time in teaching concepts that they have not gotten that are pretty challenging and so forth. And even for the ones who have not been engaged, they are catching up quite nicely. I was not great at maths and when we start attending summer school, it helped me with maths. I have three children in the class and I have been grateful for the opportunity because of the corona, um, they have been behind. But for the past weeks, I've seen improvements. So I'm really grateful. What are the age of the children? Eight, 10, and 11. How do you keep up with gadgets and stuff? Well, they have tablets. All three? Yes. So were they actively engaged in online practices? Like no one then, because of internet, not really. We were at this unfinished building and we have top pollen that would shade us from the sun, but whenever it rains, so then we would come to the, the shop that is close by. She takes time out of her busy time to do it, and it is a great job she's doing. Four and 16. Oh, so the four year old is the one who hasn't been in class? Haven't been in classes, never. I also noticed that you are very involved in the activity I see. I noticed I saw you at the back of the class paying keen attention. Yes, I am. Um, so, having had the classes, that help you to help the child with any homework? That yes, might... because I'm paying attention on how the teacher teaches them the work that she's giving them, how to explain, how to do it, then I can do it with them. There are indeed a lot of catching up. Um, some of them have fallen behind because, you know, they were not engaged. And I also realized that um, some of the children who have challenges academically, they have great minds and they have great thinking skills only to put that on paper. So um, what we realize is that we have to use different strategies to help them to realize that whatever is on the paper, whatever they reasoned out with us in maths or language arts, they can do the same on the paper. Sometimes they think that what is, what is on the paper seems probably different to them. But when we try to reason it out orally, then they are able to solve the problems. So. so what would you say to the teachers who are assisting? I would tell them they have done a great job and I thank them. I am asking though that Anyone who is listening or anyone who is reading this article, just if you can give some assistance, you know, back to school supplies, the children will be grateful and the parents will be grateful, whatever. If it's bags, books, pencils, and so forth, they would be very grateful for the assistance.